The Air Force and the NHL are answering questions tonight about what's been described as a fiasco at last night's stadium series game. Long lines of traffic made a lot of people late for the game last night, and then in turn, it took them hours to get home. Tonight, the league and the Air Force are explaining, but not apologizing. I think we ended up getting a car until just about 11 o'clock. Two and a half hours after the puck left the ice, Grant Beery finally got a ride. He was trying to use the designated rideshare pickup spot. It turned out there's no cell service, so even trying to call a Lyft or an Uber was pretty much an impossibility. This after an interesting experience inside. It was very, very difficult to get around. Lines weren't really being created. It was just kind of chaos in the concourses. Fans say concession stands ran out of beer and food. Complaints cascading on social media. There was just so much negativity. Cassie and Lynch has been trying to stay positive, though it's difficult. A lot of things could have been put together better. Tonight, the Air Force Academy and NHL released a joint statement saying they've told people for weeks to leave plenty of time to arrive, blaming unforeseen circumstances on the highway, like a crash in some emergency repairs. And the league and school explained a tragic incident where a man lost his life near the North Gate led to backups for fans leaving. They say they brought in extra cell towers and food and beer didn't run out. Concessions were just delayed in replenishing supplies. Some fans remain fuming, while others, like Cassie, decide to focus on the positive. Social media makes it look like everybody had a bad attitude about it. Yeah, this was really a rough night for a lot of people, but a lot of people stepped up. Now, the man who died near the North Gate, the El Paso County coroner has yet to publicly identify him. We are told the incident is still being investigated. No details have been released about what happened there. You can read the full statement from the Air Force Academy and the NHL on 9news.com.